Hi there everybody, this is Farmer Bob and welcome to my channel. It's so good to be back and yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is the new map um, and uh, the expansion, uh, the Alpine Farming expansion from Giants Editor. And uh, yeah, I just got it yesterday and <laughs> didn't have time to really look around. <laughs> and I thought I'll make a first look and just throw it onto my channel for you guys to have a look at and see if you're interested in buying it. I will put a link in the description obviously guys if you haven't subscribed yet please do consider doing that and I really appreciate that and you guys are awesome thanks so much man um, right so here we are in the in the the map called um, Erlengrat if I'm correct <laughs> I can't really remember now I did take a screenshot for the for the uh, for the video of the of the intro and I'll make a nice little thing there but yo, what a beautiful map guys look at the scenery it is it is really nice really 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 nice the guys have really gone um, the extra mile on this I must say with with details and scenery and everything it is really I suppose close to the real thing as can be you know <laughs> and I love the trains and the bridges there in the back it is so nice so beautiful I uh, I quickly had a I had a bit of a mow um, with the with the electric mower. The very first thing I did after I've loaded the, or installed the the um, the new the new map and um, the electric tractor. Obviously, I had to go for that and see what it's all about. I don't know why that is parked sideways. I didn't leave it like that. That's the way it loaded into the game again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there because I put the mower down there by the charging station. Yeah, instead of uh, fuel pump, you know, I have a charging station for the for the new electric tractors. Great, and I quickly uh, after the mowing, I did some uh, just put some silage in for the cows, because in this in this map you start your map with cows, um, ten of them to be correct. <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, as I'm going to just give a playthrough uh, on my on my own, I'll just make some silage so long, um, let it ferment so long, and good man. What a beautiful map, guys. Um, I think first things are first. Let's quickly have a look at the map itself. Just a quick zoom out. Have a look at the whole map. And what I love about it is everything um, Everything they've done is centralized. In other words, the farm is fairly central to the map. And that's my the nicest concept I enjoy. Is you don't have to drive far to your, to your stations, you know. Not that driving far is a big problem with these days with, with um, things like course play and that uh, things auto drive and whatever. Um, yeah, it makes it easy. And this map has got trains as well. So, um, yeah, I think, um, in my opinion, this is still your best layout. Everything centralized and the farm is up here. If you look at that, that's what you start with in the, in the, the, the farmer mode or what do you call it? Um, um, whatever the first former mode that you play with the default one <laughs> new former or what is that <laughs> anyways I always forget those names not not that it's really important to me but anyways the three game modes you know what I'm talking about excellent and then um, you, you obviously start with some cows um, you have a cow shed and um, 10 cows and the house is here um, we'll quickly have a look around at that just now and then obviously some nice selling stations the normal barn the grain mill another grain mill and because you have cows on this map and i think swiss swiss the swiss uh, um, farmers are fairly fairly uh, renowned for the cheese and milk and those things and chocolates and that so that's where you've got the cheese factory and the chocolate factory the sawmill spinnery the sawmill the spinnery and the supermarket my word <laughs> some tongue twi tongue twists there the, um, as you can see, the the field um, field uh, uh, contracts is working nicely. All these Swiss farmers, very very nice. All brand new additions to the game, which I really love. Um, everything in it is new, and boy, I love the scenery, man. This is my kind of map, guys. I grew up on a farm in South Africa in Elspreet, where um, it's trees and mountains and rivers and valleys and and um bushes and yeah greenery you know so 
<laughs> so this is like very awesome. I love this map. Yeah, gonna really enjoy playing it. Anyway, guys, so here we are in the map. This is what it's all about, and um, um, I think see they've kept most of the things standard, like the cow shed. It it looks like a small cow shed, you know. So because it's a small map, um, yeah. Right, let's quickly have a look, have a look at the lands, um, the sizes of the lands. I had a quick look just for the video's interest. A field 21, if you go into lands, field 21 is the cheapest one you can buy, the smallest field. And this has got field and lands. So, so uh, field 21 is $92,000 and its size is 1.8 hectare. And then its field size is 1.5. The actual field itself so the land is 1.8 and the field is 1.5 and then obviously this land here it doesn't have a, a number because it's not a field yet so you can do with it with whatever you want but if you compare it to this which is close to two hectares uh, and put that in there you're gonna get to roughly uh, I would say about 30 hectares if I roughly estimate just very roughly guys for 437 and that's the biggest piece of land I could find on the map um, and yeah so you've got obviously the potential for forestry here is big um, with all the nice trees and stuff in the area and plenty enough fields to work with so you're not going to get bored with the fields um, and um, yeah it's got a port Although I don't see a port cell point, which is probably not a big issue. <laughs> Suppose you'll have one of these, one of these uh, uh, railways. Um, no, it doesn't look like it. It just got a supermarket, no ports, but it doesn't really matter. It's just another cell point, guys. Great, and I love the detail. Look at the the lodge up there on the mountains. Um, the town. Um, the town and the one thing I was always curious about it's one of the first things I had to check out this is the sawmill down here very very nice um, is the clock tower does it really work guys <laughs> and it does it's amazing this clock really works uh, if you f if we forward the time you can see it really goes with it oh, I love that type of details you know very very nice and I mean just have a look and by the way the clock actually has got a bell and around the hour it goes off which I really love in the distance you can hear it very very nice love all the details and the scenery so I'm not going to really spend too much time um, going through each cell point um, but you've got the animal dealer the barn up there to the northwest that's one of the silos this is the chocolate factory the spinnery the supermarket and the cheese factory all right here a lime station and a sawmill all in the center just just uh, south of the farm the biogas plant this side and a grain mill on there on the far east good that's yeah, just a quick look around on on that and i saw each of these um, pieces of fields has got this little um, little square things on them I, I was actually wanted to go and have a look at what they are because you, when you buy the field, you don't get that um, as part of the, um, the field. So I just wanted to quickly have a look what they are, these little square little blocks. Oh, so they're houses, man. That's what they are. <laughs> they're houses. <laughs> okay, so you, you, you can buy the, f the, 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 f the farm or the field or the land. And um, let me just show you. If you buy, for instance, this piece of land, you don't own that little house then. That's fairly sad <laughs> but anyways I mean you've got the nice piece of land with with uh, someone else's house on it uh, okay and the cars obviously work and the trains obviously work I had a look at the trains as well they do run um, if you if you tap uh, I've switched going to trains off just for um, for the gameplay because um, it's fairly annoying when you go through your tractors and you actually get to the train now why is it not going to the train now train tabable true but it's not why <laughs> look at this new vehicles guys there's 30 plus new vehicles um, on the map including the first electric vehicles this like Pura there and uh, um, some nice um, what do you call it 
mowers and tedders and balers and all kinds of new things. Obviously, some of these you've seen in the game itself. Um, the new ones, I'm not going to really make a video on that. Uh, I'm uh, obviously probably see that as we game as we game along, you know. <laughs> so it will take too long to go through 30 vehicles, 30 plus vehicles and implements and kind of stuff. I suppose suppose you can have a look at my previous video where I made one on the, the launch of it uh, a few days ago. And here I've got some links if you want to look at the um, look at the videos themselves, you know what they've made and you can check the links out. Good. Great man guys, this is really awesome, I love the map, I really hope you are excited as I am to play it and uh, get hold of it, um, I can't wait for it to mod it and uh, be released, so yes, once they've modded we can uh, get hold of all the nice new equipment and stuff, you know, in game, and put that into our own maps, <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> I love it, <laughs> great. Well guys, this is Farmer Bob and uh, thank you so so much for watching. Please, like I said earlier, do subscribe. If you love my work and my maps, um, go check my website. Um, there everything is for free. Uh, all you need to do is just register with your email, not for spam mail. I don't do spam mail guys. Um, I only do, uh, you only get mails when I do updates or make new maps or my content. So there's no spam mail, it's just mail from me. Um, and when I do posts on my blog and all that. All right. But bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. This is Farmer Bob. Until next time. Cheers.